You ever tasted a spicy lemon? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. My eyes have been opened. I see the truth. Mm. Spice is everywhere. There's old spice, pumpkin spice, lattes, and the Spice Girls are still around. That's it, that's all the spice? You know what you don't see everywhere? The word sour. Uh, Makes you wonder who your favorite sour girl might be. Mm, ginger sour. <laughs> Is like candy with a flavor of ginger, but with a sour twist instead of the heat. To that point, it's time for Spicy Food Sour versus Sour Food Spicy, which tastes great and which not so nicey. A few weeks ago, we posted a series of spicified sour food versus soured up spicy food matchups, and then you voted on which ones that you thought we would like better. By the way, be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram, because that's how you can be an active part of this show you need to be on and your respond phone to these prompts. Yes. Now we're gonna find out if you were right by trying those foods as created by the Mythical Kitchen. Now listen, last time y'all Mythical Beasties lost this game, because we play this game pretty often, so we hope that you brought your spicy sour A game this time around, because there's a lot at stake. You gotta get three of these right, okay? And if you do, we're gonna record some exclusive shower thoughts for you to listen to while you take a shower. Think about that for a second. That was the second. Okay. If you don't get three right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna pose with the dirty mop on Instagram and you have to comment under it with, that's a mop, we're a flop. You'll feel so stupid about yourself if that happens. Show me this sour spicy. If you were under the impression that the well has run dry on chips and Cheetos ideas for this show, ha! you are wrong, my friends. Ha! Today we're taking our favorite potato chips, AKA sour cream and onion, mm. and we're flipping them into spicy cream and onion yes, chips. Right and there. instead of flaming hot Cheetos, we got pucker and pickle sour Cheetos. Oh, the pucker. <laughs> that the well pucker is and so pickle. deep. All right, let's The start. well of ideas. It's so deep, you can't, you drop a coin into the well of ideas for this show, no one's heard it hit the bottom yet. It's mm. still dropping. Ah, uh, spicy cream and onion. Mm. Not too spicy, thank you. You're welcome. Unless it's gonna grow on me. You let me know. I, oh, it is going to grow on you. <laughs> I was about to go in for a second one, and then I was like, okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's it's, good. It's mm, growing. I love it. Spicy. Man, I love that. But still creamy. It is creamy. And now, oh, maybe we should have started with the pucker and pickle mm. to get sour. I like the fact that it's just green. <laughs> That's good too. Woo! Oh my goodness. Man, both of these are really good. <laughs> are you not experiencing the sour, dude? It's so sour, man. I like it. I mean, I like Sour Patch Kids. Uh, you don't like it. Okay. I mean, I usually don't like the spicy stuff as much, but like a Cheeto with, with sour is just taking a savory thing and going that way for this. I like them, but I love these. I'm interested to see if anything sourified is gonna work. Cause it's, it just seems like spicy is well, what I'm going I'm for. gonna stand up for the sour at some point if you don't. Not th not on round one though. These are better than that, but I like both of them. We like this, what did you predict? 83% of the Mythical Beasts thought you would like the spicy cream and onion chips yeah. better. Okay, yeah, I mean, that, this, good this, this could be sold right this, now. Yeah, but this can, <laughs> could not be sold, man. It's nasty. I'd buy it. It might still be a little chilly, for all you non-Angelinos out there, so we're trying two beverages that'll definitely warm you up. First, instead of refreshing lemonade and iced tea in that combination known as the Arnold Palmer, we've got the Arnold Pepper, mm. which is of course is spiceified. And we also have, instead of a, a regular spicy Mexican hot chocolate, we've got a Mexican sour hot chocolate. And let's start with this sour. Um, Nicole, what would typically make a Mexican hot chocolate Spicy, and then what's what did you swap? So a lot of the times people put a little bit of arbol chili in there. Mm -hmm. I just use lime juice. Okay, so there's lime juice to yeah. sour it up. and it should work with the milk and kind of thicken it. Yeah. Maybe almost well, coagulated. Oh, that's why I say it looks like it's curdling. Yeah, it might look a little bit like ricotta, but nothing wrong with that, right? I like ricotta. Yeah, take a sip. Ch chocolate is so strong. So let me just mix it up a little bit better here. It's, um, I would call it 
Oh, tangy. Oh. I, you get that tang? When you don't stir it. Okay, yeah. All you taste is chocolate, but yeah, the, the lime is really coming through. Hmm. But it's nice. It's the, not bad. You know what it tastes like? The consistency, it starts to feel like you're trying. It's trying to make pudding. It tastes like a chocolate key lime pie. <laughs> I've never had that. I haven't either. But now I'm thinking maybe that should be a thing. A oh. chocolate key lime pie. You ever seen that? Never ever. Well, you just invented it. You made a chocolate key lime pie in a. Okay. So this is going to be hard to jar. Beat. Yeah, r right here. We've already done it, guys. Okay. I'm enjoying a sour fied thing. So the spicy Ar Arnold Palmer ha pepper. How does this work? Yeah. So I just took sweetened black tea, and then I made my own pepper aid out of black pepper and chili flakes. So no lemonade in this. No lemonade. Doesn't smell strange. <clears throat> Ooh, the black pepper really gives you a wallop. It has a very cloviness to it, almost because of the pepper. <clears throat> Peppercorn. Oh man, oh. this is what my nana's I, breath smells like. She put pepper on everything. Really? Yeah. Are you mad about it? I never have been. Um, Ooh, that's. I don't want to keep drinking this, but I want to keep drinking this. I I want to keep drinking this, even though yes, I agree. <clears throat> this is this is something. Chocolate key lime. This is this is. You've, Dev, you've invented but, something. But this is, I don't know, I, I, I'm really surprised that I like this. I would like it more if it was like uh, a hot a pepper versus a pepper pepper. No, I like the black pepper. That's why I, uh, that's why I like it. Okay. <laughs> what did you think? This one was really close. 52% of the mythical beasts thought that you would like the Mexican sour hot chocolate yeah, better. Chocolate. You barely got it, you're two for two, but let me say, it's hard to talk to you. <laughs> After you, <laughs> if you enjoy spicy things, well, you gotta tune in for the hot takes being downloaded every Wednesday Woo! from Top Food Podcast. A hot dog is a sandwich. Josh and Nicole, they go at it over there. They debate. They explore the internet's mind-boggling food habits and discuss things like: Is Chipotle overrated? Are pizza rolls better than bagel bites? Ooh. Does soup even exist? What? They're also part of the team making our favorite internet cooking show, Mythical Kitchen. So click on over to their channel to see them create drool-worthy recipes like the ones you see here on GMM every week. Yes, okay, now, if you're looking for some flavors that really pop, this round is for you. Pop round. Baby bottle pops. is little plastic bottles with a hard candy nipple. Yeah, I said it, nipple that you lick. Yeah, I said it, lick. And then there's shower, shower, <laughs> shower. So shower. You're doing so well, I'm already saying shower. Sour sugar dust in the bottle for dipping that nip. And apparently some people, not just babies, love these. And today we've got spicy sriracha baby bottle pops. And instead of jalapeno poppers, we've got sour plum poppers, AKA sour pino poppers. Oh, we're talking- I'm scared of that. Umaboshi plums yes. instead of jalapeno. With so it's some... everything that you would put in a jalapeno, put into an umaboshi plum, which if you are not familiar with that and haven't watched mm. this show, uh, these are, one of the most sour natural things you can put into your It'll mouth. make every orifice pucker. <laughs> I feel like these are so sour that you can't start here. Yeah, let's let's start with the spicy. Take off the, the lid here. Now you lick and then dip, right Nicole? Yeah, lick the nipple. So what, um, what are we dipping into? You're dipping into a homemade sriracha powder. Mm. I mean, I don't want too much, but. Whoa! Ooh, that's sour, I mean. Spicy. I mean, dang, what do words mean? It's hot. <laughs> I could get it's, into this. It's hot and garlicky. I could get into that. Sriracha's garlicky. Oh my gosh, yes. Mm. I just have to come to grips with the fact that I don't like sriracha. I don't. Yes, you do. You should be Everybody ashamed. does. No, I don't like you it. You should be ashamed. I just, I have to be honest. Don't, don't be honest. Everyone would judge you. I, 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 I have to be honest. I just don't love you, it. It's garlicky. It's hot. Well, listen, that, that bearded guy next to you is just going to make fun of you. He's going to belittle you for not liking sriracha. No, I'm well, way You know past. what? So be it. I'm, I'm way past that. That's who I am. Be, who I am. Be who you are, Link. I like, <laughs> I like black pepper. <laughs> Will this counteract what just happened? To no. You? I can't make any promises. I'm sorry, Link. It's not sweet, so it won't okay. counteract it. Oh, my bullshit. Eh. Gotta go full pull plum. Oh, my gosh. This was a tough morning. The cheese. <laughs> the cheese actually takes the edge off of the sour. Doesn't exactly. 
compliment, but it takes the edge off. This is not a fun episode for someone who enjoys very, very bland, plain food. Oh, you mean like him? <laughs> I just, yeah, this is this is tough for me. Y'all. I'm having, I don't know if you noticed, but I'm having like a internal crisis. Uh, it's not internal anymore. I didn't even, I didn't want to put that in my stomach because I felt like it would like start, it would be prickly. I'm genuinely like kind of into this. I could see how someone would like that. Did you, you predict? Like, you don't like either one, but no. Okay, I can understand that. Fifty-five percent of the mythical beasts thought that you would like the sriracha baby bottle pop better. There you oh, go. The, now it's just all about a queen sweep. And here, I'm doing good. so you've won the shower. Shower thoughts. thoughts. That's going to be fun. But if you get a queen sweep, the shower thoughts are going to be extra saucy. Okay, for our final round, we have a twist on a couple of American classics. The extra tart lemon meringue pie originated in Philly with a tangy sour lemon custard, but today the sour has been stripped away and replaced with a spicy sweet serrano pepper lemon flavor. Ooh, and as you may recall, we once tried Nashville sweet chicken. Uh -huh. We were blown away with how yeah. good it was, but we think we can take that Nashville flavor a bit further, y'all. So this is Nashville sour chicken, and I am skeptical, <laughs> but hopeful. It looks like it has like rock candy on it. Crushed warheads, very observantly. Crushed warheads on top of this, Rhett. Let's go for this second because, uh, you know, once you head into war, you might not get pie for a while. Whoa, 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 look at that. That is tall. So what have you done here with to make that? The green part. So There's I lots of meringue, that's for Serrano sure. Serrano peppers and blended it up into a curd. I think I might hot like pepper this. pepper pie. Because of the, the meringue and the, and the hotness together. Yeah, and I, I'm gonna try to get a good balance of the two, you know? So it's not just meringue. I'm trying to get like a good 50-50. Oh, you're going in? You already there? Oh my goodness. And that crust is good. See, I like a pepper jelly with a little cream cheese on a cracker. It's one of my favorite little snacky snacks. Yeah, this is weird, but that does help me understand. This could work at like a, a house of pies kind of situation. If they ran out of every other pie. <laughs> That's a great compliment. It's beautiful too, by the, the way. The spicy pie. No, you are. I mean, it's definitely intriguing and marketable. Uh, I don't like it oh, the least well, bit. You win some, you lose some, I guess. Yeah. Okay. I don't you, know. You I, lose a lot if Link's yeah, at the table. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I thought I would enjoy anything about what's happening today. Maybe I like this though. Get a nice warheaded area. Warheaded. <laughs> the crust is very formidable. Okay. <laughs> That's not good. We'll Bring back all the ooh, my boshi memory. <laughs> um, I feel like my face just wants to turn inside itself. <laughs> I mean, sweet and sour chicken is a thing, but this is just too. Much I think I just sour. Lost tooth. I kind of want a second bite, but I, you know what? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I just can't. I'm gonna eat more pie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anything that's like that sour, it just my mouth tells my brain to not put it in my stomach. Just like if something's really spicy. You but must this, be allergic to sour. This stuff. isn't too spicy, and I like the marketability of it. Okay. I, I might take a friend to get this pie. You know? Oh, I'll, I'll go. Right, like an out of town friend. Oh, okay. Thanks for nothing. Were you right? Guys, 68% of the mythical beasts thought that you would like the Nashville sour chicken better. Uh, okay. It, it sounds like it might work, maybe. You can't win them all. You know what? We're still gonna give you some shower thoughts, but they're not gonna be very saucy. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name is Christian from the beautiful state of Maryland, eating mango habanero and garlic parmesan from Buffalo Wild Wings. Watching the Good Mythical Mark from today, and it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. There's some good flavors. So I'll was, tell you. was he just in sync with us and had already ordered those? I like to think that. Yes, I'd like to think that too. Click the top link to find out which of your favorite spicy fictional couples have zero chemistry and Good Mythical Mark. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Ketchup is a smoothie. Yeah, I put ice in my cereal, so what? That makes no sense. A hot dog is a sandwich. A hot dog is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what?